Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jahan, in case you're new. This is a life purpose reading for the sign of Taurus, Taurus Sun and Moon and Rising. It is a timeless reading, so if these messages are meant for you, you will see this video at the right time. So here are your life purpose messages, plus any other general messages. And since your life purpose is such a broad topic, this is going to be episode one. So if this is something that you're interested in, make sure you subscribe for more. So I'm going to ask creator of all things, universe, angels, and spirit guides, please show me the energies for the sign of Taurus, sun, moon, and rising. Any messages, warnings, advice, and how can they potentially improve the quality of life? And what is their life purpose? Taurus, sun, moon, and rising. What do they need to know? So I'm starting off with these uh, Doreen Virtue Life Purpose cards. I'm a Virgo, so I'm naturally drawn to the color green. <laughs> I love how these look. Taurus, Summon, and Rising. What is their life purpose? Please give me three cards. Ooh, we have sensitivity. You're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. So if you used to be the kind of person that could work these retail jobs, work in call centers, work around a lot of people, work in heart harsh environment spirit is saying that ain't you anymore son <laughs> that's not you it's time for you to um it's it's that's too much for you you need to make changes accordingly because i feel as though you're someone who's very very empathetic you're very sensitive some of you there might may even be a need for you to work with some clear courts because she has clear courts uh looks like on a staff or stick Some of you, I, I'm picking up the best job for you right now until like um, you can end up doing what it is that you want, possibly maybe starting your own business. I feel those are like library jobs, cafes, um, you know, places like that, spas, places that are chill and laid back would be the best kind of environment for you to work in. We have support. Your life purpose fully supports you. Some of you, uh, your life purpose is to work in the medical field with the catechist one more I'm even hearing your life purpose is to help support others as well and then we have environmentalists you're an earth angel who was born to protect nurture and teach about nature and animals beautiful and also, when you think environmentalist, think outside of the box. This can also represent anything to do with, uh, you know, going the holistic route, anything to do with herbs, anything to do with nature, anything to do with the outdoors is part of your life purpose. Overall energy, we have spiritual teacher. You heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars. I'm even hearing bushcraft, you know, uh, building your own little utopian, being self-sufficient and living off the land. That's part of your life purpose, having your own farm. I'm hearing veganism and uh, uh, vegan, veg uh, vegetarian, plant-based. Some of you could be spiritual teachers. Maybe you have a lot of esoteric or occult knowledge, or maybe um, you could be very religious. And I feel as though your life purpose is to heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars. This is why you were, you were brought here. You are an earth angel. There's something very, very angelic about you, whether you realize it or not. I'm going to be clarifying with the deck I created, the Amethyst Answers Oracle by Jahan Tarot. I will be doing a giveaway, so stay tuned. I created it for fun, so I do. I want to give a uh, do a giveaway to see how, you know, other people are enjoying it. Hopefully, get some positive feedback and then put it on the market. So I'll keep you guys updated. But let's get some clarifiers for Taurus Summoner Rising. We have isolation. What did I say? You're an introvert. Intro introversion, introspection, rain or autumn. So you guys, again, you're very sensitive. You're someone who's very empathetic. You're an introvert and I can relate because I am too. So you can't work under harsh conditions. It, it'll drain your life force. It's to your detriment. So if this, if you are working, if you're someone who works under very harsh conditions, if your job is very physically demanding, if it's loud, um, if it's toxic, draining, you know, some jobs and, you know, kudos to people that work in certain professions. But sometimes some, some people are made for that kind of stuff. You are not. 
you need to work, you know, somewhere that's more chill. Let's get more clarifiers for Taurus, someone and rising, which is funny because you're the bull, right? <laughs> you're a gentle bull. You're a gentle giant. <laughs> Aww. We have yoga, physical movement, meditation, and exercise could also be part of your life purpose. And spirit could also be urging you to get out and move more. Go as lay in the sun. Oh, we have two. We have relocation. So there's going to be a move, change in home, house, or residence on the horizon. I know they are not mowing the lawn right now. We have relaxation, taking some time out to enjoy the human experience. So understand that you are in this time and space for a specific reason. So just enjoy the journey. You are a player in this whole significant grand, I just saw five, 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 grand game, right? So take some time out to enjoy the human experience. Some of you, there's a dire need for you to do some writing, to kind of just release and do also uh, take a spiritual bath. And then we also have paperwork, applications, documents, important legal matters, signatures, and contracts. So I feel as though some of you guys might end up um, signing some sort of uh, important paperwork or paperwork could be significant coming up. I feel as though uh, it, may need your, it may need your signature, but I feel as though whatever it is that you're doing, um, maybe this could be like a new job or um, something like I, maybe you're signing a lease because remember the overall energy we had relocation. So maybe some of you guys could be signing a new lease coming up or that could be on, on the horizon for you guys. Taurus. All right. So let's move on. I'm going to go ahead and pull a card from my money and law of attraction cards by Esther and Jerry Hicks. They channel Abraham, for those of you unfamiliar. Do some research on it. Pretty cool. Let's get a card. And I do offer video readings. If you would like one, you can check out my website, www.johanchoshop.com. All of the links for that will be listed down below. Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's get one last card to close this life purpose reading. Ooh, we got three for you guys thank it says i can have money and freedom too number 31 feeling a feeling of being overwhelmed is your indicator that you are denying yourself access to all manner of cooperation that could that could assist you if you were if you were not disallowing it so again some of you guys your job is draining or uh, you i feel as though you can't tolerate these harsh work environments anymore it's not part of your life purpose harsh environments period it says, as you begin to feel freer regarding the expenditure of time and money, doors will open. People will come to assist you. Refreshing and productive ideas will occur to you and circumstances and events will unfold. And as you change the way you feel, you access the energy that creates worlds. It is there for you, ready, uh, you, is ready for your access. Why can't I read today? It is there for your, it is there for your ready access at all times, Taurus. And then we have 36. There is no shortage of time or money. It says there's no shortage. And any attention of shortage of something wanted will always produce negative emotions within you because your guidance is letting you know that you have strayed from your broader basic understanding and abundance and well-being. So whether you are focused upon the shortage of money or seeing yourself as having only so much years to live. And so each day that is expended is one day closer to the end of your years. That feeling of decline is contrary to your broader understanding of the eternal nature of your well-being. I'm telling you, something's draining your life force. And we have 22, 2, 2, 2, 2. The subject of money is really two subjects. Last but not least, and I read, it says the subject of money is really two subjects. Money, plenty of money, and absence of money, not nearly enough money. Often people assume that because they are speaking the words, I want more money, they are speaking positively about money. When you are feeling fear or discomfort as you speak, you are not speaking of the subject of money. You are speaking of the subject of not enough money. And the difference is very important because the first subject brings money and the second holds it away. So hopefully this is something to consider, Taurus. This is what I'm picking up for you guys' uh, life purpose. Infinite abundance as always. Stay safe and strong and you guys will see me in your next reading. Bye, Taurus.